Hello, welcome to Baby Wawa TV. Today's reading time is a book from the library entitled We Love the Library. And um, I'm sure you boys and girls are probably familiar with these beers, the Berenstain Bears. The whole beer family loved to read. They went through books the way most bears go through honeycomb, and they were always ready for more. And they're having their little family time. Everybody is reading a book. That's why one bright Saturday morning, they were on their way to the Beer Town Library. At the library, they return a batch of books to Miss Dewey, the librarian. My goodness, she said, you're the book reading, book readingest family I've ever seen. <laughs> So they absolutely love the library. And look, they each have a stack of books. Look at Mommy Bear with her nice fancy hat. I just love novels like Jane, Bear, and Paul's and Prejudice, said Mama. And I like books about fishing and woodworking, said Papa. I know the kind of books you cubs most enjoy, said Miss Dewey. Would you like me to help you find them? Yes, please, Miss Dewey, said the cubs, taking her hands. You know, said Miss Dewey, as they walk through the shelves, books are very powerful. What do you cubs think is the most powerful thing about books? Hmm, said sister. I think it's the way you can see everything you read right inside your head. Hmm, now that's interesting because yes, when you're reading, sometimes you're visualizing or picturing the thing that you're reading. It depends on what you're reading. I know what you mean, said Miss Dewey. In the words of Emily Bear Dickinson, there is no frigate like a book to take us lands away. What does that mean? asked Brother. It's from a poem, said Miss Dewey. A frigate is a kind of ship. It's just, it, it just means that a book has the power to carry you off to distant places. And this is the picture of the frigate. So they're picturing that in their mind. And a frigate is a type of naval vessel. This looks like the one that was back in the late 18th and the early 19th century. And usually a frigate though was a naval vessel that was heavily armed with um, uh, weapons in, on the uh, lower deck. But this one, is armed with a what? A book. But what does a ship do? A ship takes you off to distant places and that's what a book can do. The cubs thought it over and they agreed, books are powerful. Here's our first stop, said Miss Dewey. Animal Stories for Honey. There were shelves full of picture books about all kinds of animals. There were lambs and ponies, ducklings and bunnies, kittens and puppies. Honey was in cuddly, fuzzy, fluffy, furry heaven. <laughs> so that's Honey Bear and she's having a good time reading that book. On to our next stop, said Miss Dewey. 
Out, outer Space Stories for Sister. The shelves were stocked with books about spaceships and astronauts. Sister's favorites were stories about space grizzlies. She used to think they were scary, but then she got interested in telescopes and science and things like that and changed her mind. Look at that big telescope. Next stop, said Miss Dewey, the world of long ago. This was brother's favorite subject. He loved stories about knights and armor, gladi gladiators and warriors, anything. In fact, with lots of swords, crossbows, catapults, catapults and siege engines. The family gathered with their exciting new books to check them out. Thank you for your help, Miss Dewey, said the cubs. We'll be back for more books soon, said Mama. Well, sighed Miss Dewey, shaking her head sadly. You may need to come back very soon. Why, asked Papa, what's the matter? Haven't you heard, asked Miss Dewey. The Bear Town Council was talking about closing the library to save money. Oh, my goodness. They're talking about closing the library, the town council. They can't do that, right? Oh, no, cried the cubs. Where will we go for our books? You're right, cubs, said Mama. This is terrible. Something must be done. We can help, said the cubs. We don't want the library to close. And look at that. Look at Papa Bear. He's thinking hard. They're all thinking, what can they do to try to save the library from closing? Papa had an idea. I think it's great that you cubs want to help, but maybe we could do more. What do you mean, asked sister? How would you cubs like to be in charge of keeping the library open, asked Papa. Count us in, said brother. What do we need to do? With Papa and Mama giving advice, the Cubs made a plan to keep the library open. First, they talked to all their friends and asked them to tell their parents and families about it. So they got a game plan that they're putting together. And this is, the, they're going out distributing flyers or letters out to everyone in their neighborhood. Next, they printed flyers and took them door to door. The flyer said to come to the next meeting of the Bear Town Council to stop the library from closing. This is the flyer. It says, save our library. Please come to the next council meeting. Where town hall, when? Tuesday at 6 p.m. So when you don't like what's going on in your town, what do you do? You gather your friends, gather your neighbors, and go to the council meeting. At the next council meeting, practically everyone in Bear Country turned out. Folks crowded through the doors and leaned in the windows. When Mayor Honeypot called the meeting to order, bear after bear spoke out against the library closing. This is the town hall. That's the mayor talking up there. And the meeting is filled with the residents of the town.
Finally, old Miss McGriz stood up. When I was just a young girl, she said, I took the book Ballet Bear Shoes out of the library and fell in love with it. That's why I became a ballerina myself. Without the library, that never would have happened. Was Miss McGriss really a ballerina? whispered the cubs to Mama and Papa. Of course, said Papa, smiling. Everyone knows that. When she was young, she was the great ballerina Grizova. She danced with the Berensky Ballet. Oh, she danced with a ballet company. Look at that. she was younger she was a ballerina <laughs> now you can probably find this book we love the library at your nearest library thank you boys and girls for watching baby wawa tv